Hi Scholars, this is Miss C and it is so good to see you today. Today we will be working on a word workout called Make It Plural. Materials! So go ahead and put your thinking caps on. Ready? We have two new learning targets for today. Please follow along with me as I read them. Our first learning target says, I can read and spell singular words ending in Y and plural words ending in IES and EYS. The second learning target says, I can use my knowledge of vowel sounds and syllables to read and spell words. Transition song. Do you know the sound we'll hear? The sound we'll hear? The sound we'll hear? Do you know the sound we'll hear? Sneaking in today. Word work. We've been working with words that have the ending Y or EY to make them plural. Today, we will practice reading and spelling these words. We can sort them by the suffix each word uses to make it plural. S or I-E-S. Can you read this word? The word is story. Notice that this word ends with Y. To make words that end with Y plural, we replace the Y with I and add E-S. So which column does this word belong in? The word stories belongs in the IES column. Here's our next word. What is this word? Monkey. Notice that this word ends with EY. To make words that end with EY plural, we simply add S. So which column does this word belong in? If you thought it goes in the S column, you are correct. Let's try another word. What does this word say? This word is cherry. It ends with just Y, so we'll need to replace the Y with I and add ES. Which column does this word belong in? Cherries belongs in the IES column. Here's another word. How would you pronounce this word? This word is turkey. It ends with EY, so we know we just need to add the S. Which column does this word belong in? If you said turkeys belongs in the S column, you are correct. Now, we'll look at a few more words that have Y or EY endings and put them on the star that will make them plural. Can you read this word? The word is kitty. This word ends with Y. So in order to make it say kitties, which star does this word belong on? S or I-E-S. Kitties belongs on the I-E-S star. Let's try another word. What does this word say? This word is journey. The word journey becomes journeys by adding S since journey ends with E-Y. Does this word belong on the S star or IES star? Journeys belongs on the S star. Here's our next word. How would you say this word? This word is chimney. Knowing that it ends with EY, which star does this word go on? If you said the S star, you are correct. Here's our last word. How would you pronounce this word? 
This word is battery. This word ends with Y, so in order to make it say batteries, which star does this word belong on? S or IES? Batteries will belong on the IES star. Let's do one last activity today and look at two more words to see where to divide them into syllables. This will help us read them. So go ahead and put your syllable sleuth hat on. It is time to be a detective. Here's our first word. Let's start by finding the vowels. Each one of these vowels belongs to one of the syllables in this word. Notice that the first syllable has the vowel A, which is closed in by the consonant N. This is a closed syllable, so it will have a short vowel. The next syllable ends with Y, which will sound like E because the word has more than one syllable. We can split this word into two syllables right after the first closed syllable. Now it will be easier to read the syllables. The first syllable is can. The second syllable is D. What is the complete word? Candy. Let's try one more word. Let's find the vowels in this word. The first syllable is a closed syllable, AC. And the next syllable, the vowel I, is followed by the consonant V. So it will also be a closed syllable with a short I sound. After that, we see the vowel I, which will again sound like I. Last, we will see that the word ends with Y, which will sound like E because the word has more than one syllable. Now, it will be easier to read the word in syllables. The first syllable is ak. The second syllable is tiv. The third syllable is i, followed by t. So the word is activity. Great work, syllable sleuths. Closing reflection. What does it mean to be an independent reader? Find more words with Y and EY endings and try to make them plural. Great work, friends, and I can't wait to see you next time.